Hey, what's up everybody? I'd like to welcome you to another audio programming tutorial. Now, I've received a comment recently from a subscriber named Genesis that asked me to recommend some books and reference material um, for audio programming. So I'm just going to show you a few of mine. Uh, I'm going to go a little bit uh, different than my normal tutorials in that, you know, I'm just going to thumb through these. I think that would be a little bit more effective rather than um, just kind of showing you the Amazon page. Uh, so you can actually get a kind of feel for what the book actually looks like and what and a little bit about how it reads. Okay, so um, rather than just searching for the, for the free PDF, you know, I would um, highly encourage you to actually go out and buy these books. Okay, just just because you know these these people have been working really hard um, on this material for us. So I would um, en encourage you to save up the money and support them if you've if you've got the money, okay. So this first book is a Max MSP book, but I would say that in terms of general explanation uh, of concepts, this is probably one of the best books that I've come across um, for just taking uh, complex concepts and breaking them down to uh, you know simple everyday language. Okay, I don't come from a mathematical background, so uh, sometimes I need some of the concepts explained a little bit more thoroughly. And I found that this has been very helpful for me. Okay, so it's electronic music and sound design, theory and practice with Max M and MSP. Okay, uh, so if we just go in here, um, you know, you got, you've got some of the very basic concepts, sound synthesis and signal processing. You've got little uh, objectives here that um, kind of have like an agenda and then you have you actually have questions at the end um, that you can that uh, you know help you to remember some of the key concepts as well. So you know here's like here it talks about the sine sine wave, um, you know different things like amplitude, frequency, period, phase, you know things that we've covered in some of the beginners tutorials. And then if you go down a little bit further here, uh, let's let's find some some other stuff. So you've got some some different types of synthesis, like additive and vector synthesis. Uh, I think in here you've got um, you've got about filtering. Even goes into a little bit about convolution. Um, if you buy the book, there are actually example patches as well that you can uh, that you can access that are very helpful. So here's a little bit about filtering and different types of filters. So you got like. Um, talking about bandpass filtering, you know, with different different resonances. Um, so this is a little bit about um, a little bit more about filtering. You've got, uh, you know, as I said, you know, some of these mathematical concepts can be a little bit to understand, but this I think this book does a great job at breaking some of this down. So this is a little bit about kind of. Uh, finite impulse response filters um, versus infinite impulse response filters and uh, their, their actual way of feeding these coefficients, um, which we'll talk about in a later tutorial. So you got some math, you got some math in here, but it's not so it's not so crazy that um, you just want to run away and hide. <laughs> so uh, this is the first of two volumes. Okay, I think the second volume covers more like effects processing, like reverbs, delays, and that sort of thing. Um, but this is a highly recommended book, so I would definitely recommend that. This second book is another one that is highly recommended. I would say that this is um, a bit more math heavy, but it does a great job of explaining um, complex con concepts a little bit more simply, not quite as simply as the first book I showed you, but um, you know, it breaks down quite well. Uh, so it's Music Mathics by Gareth Loy. And um, you know, the math on here, I mean, they go all the way, they go all the way in as far as mathematical concepts go. So, um, you know, so if you need some serious, if you need some serious, um, you know, formulas for your algorithm, this will be a great resource for you. So we've got stuff like, um, like musical signals. Okay. I've, uh, uh, also, uh, you got like convolution going into convolution a little bit more deeply than the, uh, than the first book. It's got some 
kind of um, comparisons and, and concepts that we can compare, uh, you know, some of these concepts to. Okay, so there's about convolutions. There's your convolution if, um, equation. You got filtering. So, so, so I would I would say that this has a lot of the same um, source material that the first book I have is. Uh, uh, um, described but that it does it in a lot more detail okay it actually uh, also helpful um, about this book is that if you don't come from a mathematical background like me then um, you have an you have an appendix here as well so let me see if I can find it yeah here it is so um, in the appendix it actually describes a, a very briefly just some of the some of the concepts um, you know, such as like sigma notation, um, you know, trig tri trig trigonometric functions, <laughs> trig functions, I'm just going to say trig functions, uh, sine, cosine, tangent, and how they relate, you know, to sound. Um, and then it just describes them very briefly so, so that if you need more in-depth knowledge, I would recommend going on something like Khan Academy you know, and taking and, and typing these, um, these concepts into YouTube and the Khan Academy. And that's been very helpful for me. So, um, I would describe, I would say that this one, and I'm going to get, I've got volume two, there's a volume one as well. Um, and that, you know, I would describe these as like kind of Bibles, uh, if I can say that very, very loosely. Uh, of digital signal processing, you know, if you're going to do any sort of serious programming, um, algorithm developing for plugins, um, I would definitely recommend this book. Okay, third book. Um, this is the one that I have. It's a C plus plus reference. I would say that, you know, it'd be great to have a C plus plus reference. Um, one thing that I will emphasize when it comes to these books. Um, especially like something like this is that um, you know I've been doing I've been programming for about two years nearly three years now and that um, I've attempted to read some of these books kind of cover to cover and you'll find that you know somehow some of them can be quite difficult reads unless you're really you know unless you've really got a lot of kind of reading stamina so I would describe you know some of these books as more kind of reference material if you need to know something about arrays or about polymorphism or about how to develop a class this is a great book to pick up there's actually one that i've heard that's a little bit better is by the creator of c plus plus bjorn storstrup um and i think it's i, I think it's just called c plus plus i can't remember exactly what it's called but um but I've heard that that's a little bit better than this one. But this one has been an excellent resource for me, um, you know, for, for learning about different syntax. Uh, you got casting, you got templates, arrays, uh, the STL standard, um, standard temp template library, uh, pointers. So I would say, you know, definitely get yourself a C++ reference manual. Um, you know, it's great to have on hand. Okay. Next book and uh, final book is uh, Getting Started with Juice. Um, unfortunately, uh, this doesn't really go into kind of audio and plugin development as I wish it would have. Um, but that's something that we're going to be exploring together in these next couple weeks. But I find that it is a great, uh, it, it, this is a great and essential um, reference for, for getting started with Juice. Uh, helps you get started with it, you know, um, helps you understand a little bit more about the, uh, about the component windows, building your UI and how that, how that relates. What else do we got in here? Um, so we got like mouse, mouse actions, um, got data structures in juice. And so I think, I think this is another one that's, you know, a great, uh, a great source for, uh, getting to know the, getting to know the juice framework a little bit more. So those are just some ones that I recommend. Uh, there's another one here that I'm going to briefly go over. I don't actually have this book myself, but I've, I've heard a lot about it. Um, the reason that I don't have it is because 
I believe that it's a Windows only uh, book, but that the concepts, of course, are going to be universal. So um, it's this one here, Designing Software Synthesizer Plugins in C++. And this uses a different framework called Rack AFX. Um, I've heard about it, heard some good things about it, but um, I have heard that it is a Windows only thing. Um, so I've been thinking about picking this up, but uh, you know, you know, just to pick up some of these concepts and stuff. And um, you know, if any of you happen to have this book, I would I would love to hear your thoughts on it. Okay, it is a bit pricey. Okay, all of these are a bit pricey. They're kind of in your you know 30, 40 pound range, uh, which is 50 or 60 US dollars. Um, so they are a bit pricey, but you know. I would I would highly advise getting these books because they um, you know they do go into concepts that are quite they're they're quite difficult to find online anywhere so um, so these are the ones that I recommend to help help you get started if you have some more suggestions or if you have any questions just uh, just drop me a line and that's it for uh, this one and I will see you next time.